What's going on everybody and welcome to another Key Smash Studios video. My name is Terry. Today we're going to be talking about how we can create a low poly landscape in Blender that we can then use in a game later on. Now this is part of a series of videos I'm doing that are leading up towards a larger project. So be on the lookout for that. You can hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to make sure you're on the lookout for that. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. It really does help us out. And without further ado, we'll hop right into this. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually select everything in the scene and delete it. I just hit A and then delete to get rid of everything. Now that there's nothing in the scene, I'm going to go up here to add, or I can hit Shift A, and I'm going to add a mesh that is a plane. Now this plane, if I go into wireframe mode, would just show that we really only have two polygons right now. And that's perfectly fine. What we're going to want to do is increase the amount of polygons on this mesh so we can then sculpt it and make it a low poly look eventually. So what I'm going to do right here really quick is I am just going to sort of expand this a little bit just so we can see what we're doing. So I'm going to switch the dimensions to 10 by 10, 10 in the X, 10 in the Y, and really just sort of give us a little bit better of a idea about what we're doing. And then I'm going to come down here to the wrench and I'm going to add a modifier. Now the modifier I'm going to add is a subdivision surface modifier. Then I'm going to click over here to simple. This is going to retain the shape of the plane. And I'm just going to change this number here. I'm going to change this subdivision number by 8. That's going to add a ton of subdividers to our mesh. Then I'm just going to click this drop down arrow and hit apply. Or I can hit control A. Now if I hop into edit mode, we'll see that when we zoom in that there are hundreds of little faces here and that's exactly what we want because we're actually going to be doing some really terrible sculpting today. And that's okay. It does not have to be great. You do not have to have any talent to do this. This is just a method to get towards a low poly look that is pretty cool for a terrain. So then I'm going to come up here. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to go over to the sculpting one. This is just a better look at the sculpting tool in my opinion and I'm going to select some of these things on the side here so I just want to point out that when I first do this it's mirrored usually so just come up here to where there's this little butterfly hit this X and you'll no longer be mirrored now when I'm thinking about a level in this case I want to have something in mind ahead of time for me personally, I want to make a canyon scene. And the easiest way for me to do that is actually to build the walls up rather than take things down. But when I'm sculpting in Blender, I just have to have one of these blue ones selected and I can click and drag to raise. That's a control Z to go back. Or I can press control and I'll dip down and go down. But for me, I'm going to try to keep the base level of this, the canyon floor, on the very bottom just to be flat here. That way I know when I'm walking around on the level that it's flat and I don't have to go change this model later. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a rough outline of what I would like from this canyon. So I'm using this clay strips one. You don't have to use this. You can use this one that's a little more curved. But for me I really like how clay strips works out in the very end of this process. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a vague shape here of a canyon that will build into a level. Oh, my mouse just freaked out a little bit there. And I'm just making this vague shape that I want the player to be able to walk down and explore through. So I'm going to have the player start down here. And I want them to be able to explore various different sections of this canyon. It's not just one straight shot all the way through. I want them to be able to explore, look around. There's all sorts of different pathways for them to go through and look into maybe some cool features in the center. So really, I'm just kind of trying to create like a little maze here. This does not have to be well sculpted by any stretch of the imagination. This is really just a just 
create a semi-usable model here. And there we have it. So we have this vague maze. I know they're going to be in this starting area. And then we have some walls around it. And what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to add a bit more detail to this section. So there we have it. We have a bit of a shallow maze here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more variance in the height for this canyon section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep adding height to these walls. Some sections are going to be much higher than other sections. So don't be afraid to change and vary this height dramatically from section to section. It's OK. The process will sort of even itself out. You'll see in the end, it's actually a really cool effect. The only thing we're really looking for here is we really just want to be careful not to mess with our floor of the canyon. So once we're comfy with how this canyon looks height wise, and we can change this as a whole later on, but once we're comfy with how it looks uniform wise, meaning that we know some sections are going to be higher than other sections and we're comfy with how high those sections are relative to the others, we can change it all at once later, but we can't change different sections. So. I know for me over here, this is going to be a bit of a peak and some of these sections where it sticks out are going to be peaks. So I just want to make sure to buff those up. And once I'm happy with the result, we're going to go to the next step of this. And that's to go back up to our layout stage, come to our object mode if you're not in object mode, and we're going to go ahead and add another modifier. So now we're going to take away some of the faces that we just created. And in doing so, we're going to get a really and in doing so, we're going to get a really cool low poly effect. So I'm going to come up here to decimate. And I'm going to double click this ratio. If you click and drag, it's going to get much slower. And I'm going to go ahead and put in 0.247. So I'm going to use 24% of the polygons that I used prior to this. And you can see that not much has changed so far, and that's totally fine. But if we zoom in a little bit, we can start to see more of a low poly-esque landscape. And if we want to amplify this further, what we need to do is actually just bump up the height here. So right now it's 0.3. If I want to increase this tenfold, I'll do a 3.42. And we'll see that all of the sudden, our canyons become really canyon-like. And we can, you know, continue scaling this to, to fit however we want. So if you want this to be a 50 by 50, all of a sudden we have these slightly smaller canyons, but it's more spread out and we have a little more wiggle room in the thing. And we can just modify this however we want. If we want to make it times two taller, an interesting thing you can do in Blender is just come up here to 3.42 times two, hit enter. It will automatically double that for you. But this is the really cool low poly effect. And anytime we're done and we're good, we like this 2.47. If we want to go lower, we can. We can click and drag here, go a little bit lower. I think that's a little too low poly for me, so I'm going to stick with the 2.47 ratio right here. I'm going to come up to this arrow, hit apply. And now we have a fairly low poly level scene that we might use later on. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit control a and I'm going to apply scale and here on the scale it's a 111 that's super important for when we export this FBX we're just gonna hit export FBX and we're gonna call this Canyon I'm good with this FBX I just want to make sure that I'm Z forward Y up And I'm going to hit export FBX. Now, once you import this into Unity or Unreal, you obviously will have to rebake your lighting. That's why we have little weird things here. But you'll obviously have to add more details to this. It's not perfect on its own, but it is a really nice solid base, low poly terrain. 
Now, obviously, on its own, this is not a completed terrain. You need to add various materials and clutter and things like that. And we lose out on some of the ability to automatically place them. But if we're doing a small controlled low poly level like I'm doing here, that's perfectly fine. We don't need to automatically place them. We can place them manually. I really do love the look of creating this low poly landscape here. You can really sort of imagine this being a canyon and you're on an unfamiliar place. You start out your spaceship and you come out and obviously you can't climb out, but it looks kind of canyony. That's about it on this effect for the low poly landscape. If you have any questions about this, I'd love to hear from you. Give me a comment down below, or you can go into the description. You'll find a link to our Discord. You can let me know something in our Discord. You can ask me questions in our Discord. We would love for you to join the Keith Smash family. We do lots of streaming and video content, so go ahead and join that Discord. You'll be able to keep up with all the content that we put out. If you found this to be extraordinarily helpful, please consider taking a look down in the description at various links, including our Patreon. Anything that you click on there would be of enormous help. As always, I hope this has been helpful. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. It really does help us out, and hopefully I'll see you next week.